I'm trying to make viral short form content using only AI tools so it's completely faceless and you can use this for Instagram theme pages, YouTube shorts and TikTok to create viral videos like these on screen. I'm going to show you every single step of the process using AI tools that are completely free to use so anyone can do this. Start making thousands a month from this one skill. In this age of AI, if you're not using AI, you're getting left behind. However, it does seem daunting to try all these AI tools and it seems like everyone else is so much further ahead. However, this video will break down the simplicity of how to use each tool so even if you don't want to create short form content this is definitely one to watch to learn AI. So this is not a clickbait video promising you to make 9,000 per day with this one skill. <laughs> However it's an extremely valuable skill that if you learn and apply correctly it could make you a lot of money online. So how do I know that this method makes viral videos is because I actually saw this from someone else's Instagram theme page and I've learned exactly how they've done it and I've recreated their videos and this is what I'm going to show you videos like this and this and a the theme page is growing rapidly. I've got so much to cover and there's a ridiculous amount of value in this video so all I ask is that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Without further ado, all you need for this video are the four free AI tools and CapCut, which is all free to use so anyone can do this. Let's jump into the step-by-step -step tutorial. So the four phases of this is that we're going to go to ChatGPT, we're going to ask it to create a quote from the Stoic philosopher. Then we're going to go to Dali and it's going to generate an image of the sculptures of this Stoic philosopher. Then we're going to go to a software called Kyber and it's going to turn our pictures into a really, really high quality video. And then we're going to turn the script from ChatGPT into into a voiceover using the AI text-to-speech from Eleven's Labs. Now this all sounds complicated but I promise you it's so easy and I'm going to drop all the prompts in the description so you literally can just copy me step by step follow along and I'll show you everything that you need to do to get your videos looking like this. Right are you ready? Let's get locked in. First step is that you're going to need to open the Google Doc in the description and this is going to take you through the step by step. It's going to have all the links and literally all the prompts underneath. First of all we're going to go to ChatGPT so copy and paste this go open chat GPC and then we're going to get in and we're going to put this prompt in create a list of five quotes from the five different stoic philosophers and there we go we're going to have five different philosophers perfect the next step we're going to go to Dali and then we're going to generate the image in which we're going to then make into a video and because I've used up, this is going to be a free, so I had 15 free credits to use and I've obviously used up trial and out actually making this for the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to my history and then I'm going to show you what the two different prompts actually do. So I put this prompt in to Dali and the best style that I managed to get with the best prompt is when their face is uh, center like this and like this. So look, the perfect prompt was portrait of the stoic and then the name in black and white and then the ratio 16 by 9 means as we've got a wider frame. So when the watermark from Kyber, the next free uh, AI tool won't be in the video. So that's a little hack. That's why you've got to make sure you do a 16 by 9 ratio. So now you've got this hit save and download that and then you've got the so now you've got the five quotes from the five different stoic philosophers ready to make five different reels Then you can go and create like to chat gp skeet got confused um two quotes from marcus aurelius okay so now we've got two quotes from marcus aurelius as that's the guy that we've got here downloaded the image from dali so we don't need that anymore and we don't need this anymore so we've got the quote here we've got the image so next we want to go to the Google Doc and open up the app Kyber. And this is where we're going to generate this beautiful image. We'll drag and drop this into there. And then we're going to copy the prompt from the Google Doc. So we're going to say a portrait of the Stoic. And then we're going to change this to of the Stoic Marcus Aurelius. So then we're going to go to the Google Doc and we're going to grab the prompt that we used earlier. So you literally just go like this, copy and paste it into Kyber. And you want to say, I type my own portrait of and then in the style of you want to get rid of that because that's going to be the next bit select the style of and it's actually black and white it will automatically populate what we copied and pasted with that and then we're going to go continue settings and then we're going to go generate and this will generate us our image and this should look epic because all the other ones i've created so far are insufficient credits right okay my videos ones i've created before there we go so this is the exactly the same thing as I did before. Again, I'm doing the free credits version. So that's why this is what will happen once you've done it fresh. Come to here, download video. Look at that. That is epic, isn't it? How it turns this, how it turns 
this image into that is incredible. I love AI tools, it's literally nuts. Now we've got the video for our reel and we've got the quote, we just need the voiceover. So go back to the Google Doc, Eleven's Labs, click on there, we'll open this link and then you want a voice design, a male, old, British, and the best one I found for these types of quote was 200% accent. And this will, you come onto the website and then you wanna go to voice lab and then voice design. You wanna add voice, then voice design, then you wanna do this, male, old, British, and then max accent. I kind of feel like if you put the stoic quotes in there, the AI might kind of understand that you want it to be a certain type of voice. And then you click generate, and this will then generate you a voiceover, which is pretty incredible again. Perfect. Right, so we're gonna use this. You'll go on, generate your voice generator once you're happy with it. I typically like that male British 200% accent. Then you go into ChatGPT, you copy the quote that you want to use. So let's just say, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. So let me go in here, paste this, and this is Marcus Aurelius. Generate. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. So we've got the video that we want to generate. We'll save this on our home screen and we've got the audio that we want to generate. And now we have everything that we need to go into CapCut and start creating content. So now we're going to open up CapCut. We've got the image and we've got the voiceover. So now it's time to import them. Marcus Aurelius video and the Eleven's Lab voiceover. Perfect. So now if you never use CapCut, you literally just click add and add it to timeline. And the same with this one, add it to timeline. Then we're going to shorten this to meet that. And then we're going to change the ratio here to nine by 16 for portrait. And then this is what I meant earlier. When you expand it, you see you can get that watermark completely off screen. So that's perfect for us. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. So that's the baseline of it. And now we're gonna add all the edits and we're gonna change the voice a little bit just to sound more stoic and calm and collected. Okay, let's try that. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Voice effects, let's go for a voice effect. Deep. Let's try that. You have power over your mind. Too deep. <laughs> right, pitch down. You have power over your mind. No, too much. Let's try that. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. That sounds pretty good. Drop this one again. Oh, that's it. Voice tone change. That's what I forgot. So that should be fine, actually. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and that sounds perfect. So let's go back to the Google Doc. What's next? So the editing process. So we've got our video and we've got a voiceover in there. Now it's time to add spark and mess to the whole duration of the clip. So we're going to go into effects by a mess. So I've got spark here. Click add and mist, click add. Then we're literally just gonna drag this across the whole portion. And then I might do the mist after the old wiggly bit. And then we're gonna do here. Okay, so we've added, so we've added mist and we've added the spark. Perfect, so now it looks like this. Perfect. And now open up the Google Doc again. So cap cut, change direction to max time frame, and then video clip, we're gonna animate combo, slide, and wave. So what I mean by that is come over to here, click animation, then combos, and then you want to go for this one, slide and wave. Perfect. And then for the duration. You want to Mac pull this one down to the left and pull this one to the right so it goes across the whole clip. It's still moving. And then it will zoom in and then whew, off the screen. Perfect. Like that. And then all we have to do now is add our text. We're going to go auto captions, create. And then this is Canva's amazing feature which will automatically allow you to add captions. Perfect. Let's have a look. Right. So this is the basic captions. This is a little hack. This is 
Alex Harmozy's text font that he uses in all his short form content. So you're welcome. I'll add that a link in the description as well. I'll put that in the title to download this bold font and you'll be able to add this to your CapCut. And then because this is in black and white, I think the white one looks good. Let me pump this up to, let's do 13. And then the animations for these are, where's the Google Doc again? So type two and change direction to max time frame. So by this, I mean, so the animation is type two. So look for that. There we go. This one. And then we're going to change the duration to the full thing. So it's slow and steady. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Right. So now I'm just going to put this in speech. Perfect. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Epic. Done. And now we need to just do the section of branding and I'll show you how to do this. So now we can close CapCut, open this video that you've got here and then make this as big as possible. Right, now you've got this, go into a bit you like and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna screenshot this. Now we've got that screenshot saved. We're gonna whack it into Photoshop like this make this fit the screen here now we've got this into photoshop we're going to click this bosh and we're going to use this tool to quickly go around this it's messed up a little bit because i was screen recording but that's okay you get the idea and then we'll go into this quick mask tool um around the edges bah, ooh, around the edges there and then I just need to add his hair back in but do as quickly as possible. Add, add the shoulder play in and that in. All right, okay, pull per perfect. And then we'll click this and boom. There we go. There we've got our floating head for our branding. So then we're going to go and file, save as, save to your computer. Then we're going to save it on our desktop. And we're just going to call it uh, Stoic profile pick perfect as a png save largest file possible saved and we're going to go back to CapCut our project and then we're going to find the stoic profile picture and we're going to drag it drop onto the timeline perfect and now we've got this this will be our branding for our account that we'll make so then you go onto this we'll hit mask and then we want to do a circle mask and just get it so the heads in it but a little bit of the neck as well because it looks cool and uh, we'll just scale the whole thing down perfect perfect and then we'll scale this whole thing down a bit mask yep enter good mask okay so now we've got it masked as a circle this can be made smaller down here and then we'll move the text up a little bit and then what we're going to do under here is we're just going to add some text add text and then we're going to write default text added stretch it out for the whole length of the video move it down here and we're just going to write who actually said the quote so marcus or really yes on the bold font and we're going to do the offset of what the main one is Marcus Aurelius and then underneath we'll copy and see copy and V that do the branding of your actual account's name let's just say your account's called like and subscribe perfect and we'll make this one a little bit smaller and we'll make this like that as well Right, and that's the full video done. Bah, that's the whole thing done. And you can whip out as many of these completely faceless. And I think it looks sick. And then let me just quickly show you a suggestion of songs that you could use over this one. So I've saved them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this. Export. 
sorry, this is so this has now been exported. Now share airdrop to my iPhone. Upload real. Upload the one we just made. Audio saved. And then let's use. Right, let's try that. Right. Music controls, music down to 10, camera up max. <laughs> and there, we've done it. Completely finished. And that's how you create a viral piece of short form content that you can use for Instagram theme page, TikTok pages, and YouTube shorts. I hope you found this video useful. I always find these sit down instructional videos super valuable. So if you have, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check out the last 60 days update, which I've now been doing it for five months and the changes to the algorithm. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Your boy's gone skis.